enough to resolve issues in the SBA secondary market. Can you discuss the continuing need to address the secondary market issues um, for SBA loans? Well, thank you, Madam Chair. That's an uh, excellent question that gets to the uh, point of concern for many small business lenders, um, the fact that the secondary market for many small business loans and consumer loans is completely frozen. And your efforts to bring in the Federal Reserve, bring in the Treasury Department to address those have had some very positive results with the uh, Federal Reserve and Treasury working to start this new TALF program. Um, but you're absolutely correct that it needs to be structured in a way that uh, works for the uh, SBA loan poolers, um, and structured in a way that works to help uh, open the secondary market for consumer loans, credit card businesses, um, and uh, small business lending. So we are continuing to work with the Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department to make that work, and, and we will uh, continue to call upon you and this committee to make sure that is a robust program and works as you intended it to work. I mean, we, we've yet to see the, the final implementation of that program, and the, the number one uh, concern we have from lenders is that the secondary market for their loans are frozen, so they can't sell off their loans on their books now and create new loans, and that has to be addressed, so we appreciate your help on that. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Roth, <clears throat> broadband connectivity can be a critical economic driver. Small firms relied on broadband to expand their markets and become more competitive. To what extent could broadband-related dollars translate into immediate jobs for American workers, and more importantly, how long it will take, months, years? Um, thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Um, with regard to our suggestion of one-time grants for broadband build-out, particularly to unserved areas, um, there is a positive side to having lots of old infrastructure, old telephone lines out there, and, and that is that our companies already have the rights of way, they already have the conduits, mm -hmm. um, they already have the basic building blocks in place. Uh, so they could put a lot of people to work quickly, digging trenches, laying new lines, uh, upgrading existing equipment, uh, basically providing sale, uh, uh, employing salespeople uh, to serve new customers. Um, so in that respect, in terms of new service to unserved areas, um, we think there actually is great potential there for a broad broadband grant program. Um, there's also uh, an RUS, a Rural Utility Service Telecom Loan Program that I spoke about in my testimony. Um, our understanding is that in the last go-around, in the fiscal year 2008 go-around, that program was oversubscribed by $250 million, showing that there is a great deal of interest among smaller companies that are eligible for those loans uh, seeking assistance that RUS was not able to provide. For a relatively small amount of money, about a half million dollars in loan authority and appropriations, um, that could underwrite about another $250 million in loan authority and fulfill all of those pending requests, which could come forth very, very quickly. Would you like to comment? Uh, I absolutely agree fully. I mean, there's lots of, uh, uh, well, let me just start by saying, uh, given the fact that in 2008, 180,000 employees in our sector lost their jobs. So if the grants and different programs were, were to stimulate broadband uh, investment in new infrastructure build out, you have a lot of people ready to go back to work. Uh, I absolutely agree with Mr. Roth and uh, his assessment. Um, okay. um, when it comes to broadband access, policy incentives uh, can play an important role sure. in encouraging deployment. A public private partnership can promote rapid and extensive uh, deployment. Can you talk to us about why federal incentives? and funds are necessary even though the private market is generating demand for broadband? Sure, and it goes back to the, the issue of uh, unserved communities and uh, uh, communities that f the economics don't work as well in the, in the 
larger market. And so uh, a public-private partnership is one way to uh, get around the market conditions and make sure that uh, uh, companies can get a, get a return on that, that investment. And so we support